Describe a parcel of land as unregistered means one thing only that the title to the land is established from the old fashioned title deeds and is not to be found in the register of titles governed by the RI 2002. Unregistered land is land for which title must be proved from the convincing history of the land as is evidenced by the title documents and not by inspecting a register. It does not mean that there is no provision or opportunity for the registration of other rights and interest affecting the land. For unregistered land has its own system of independent partial registration. It is important that it, it is appreciated fully. Indeed, it is essential from the outset to remember that the system of unregistered land with its partial system of registration operates completely separately from the system of registered land. Of course, they both deal with the same type of property rights and they share the concept of overreaching but they do so in differently and mutually. So if a title to land is registered under the ERI 2002, it is unregistered land and it is to be dealt with according to the principle. Let's take a look at estates in unregistered land. Title to land is not recorded in a register, nor it is granted by the state through the legislation. However, the same type of estates may exist as law and in equity in unregistered land as may exist in unregistered land. The substantive law of estates is governed by the LPA 1925 and the freehold and leasehold have the same essential character when found in either registered or unregistered land, albeit that they are approved and transferred in different ways. Thus, any purchaser of an unregistered estate in land must seek out the root of title in order to ensure that the seller has a good and safe title to pass on. Title is proven by an examination of title deeds and documents relating to the previous dealings within the land. In addition, a prudent purchaser will make a thorough physical inspection and of the land if there are any obvious defects of title and whether there are any obvious third party rights that might prejudice his use of his land. For example, is anyone else in possession of the same land or are there any boundary issues? As title is not registered, the title, the quality of the title is determined according to the old common law rules of title as modified by the LPA 1925. Thus, a legal title, whether freehold or leaser, encapsulates the essence of ownership for the duration of the estate granted and the owner of a legal estate in unregistered land need not fear that the proper title will be compromised by any extraneous issues affecting the land other than those in trust binding as proprietary rights according to the rules of unregistered conveyancing. With an equitable estate, for example, an equitable lease, the estate owner also enjoys full rights over the land subject to the difficulties affecting all equitable interest in unregistered conveyancing. That is, they rank second to any previously created equitable right and are vulnerable if there is a sale of a legal estate in the land to a purchaser for variable consideration. Interest in unregistered land are of the same type as interest in registered land. There are easements, mortgages, covenants, profits, co-ownership rights, or options and estoppels. As these are creatures of the substantive law, they are examples of proprietary rights that may exist over someone else's land more accurately over the estate in it. However, it is the machinery of unregistered land, the way in which these interests affect another person's land, particularly on sale or mortgage that is different from registered title. Legal interest in another person's unregistered land, such as legal easements, legal mortgages, and legal leaseholds are in the main automatically effective against the land owner over which they exist. Even if they were granted by someone other than the landowner, they will bind automatically any person coming into ownership or occupation of the land, be they a purchaser, recipient of a gift, devising under a will, or an adverse possessor. That is the effect of the rule. Legal rights bind the whole world and it is a principle of utmost importance in unregistered conveyancing. However, once a legal right has been established over the burden land, there is no need to make further inquiries in order to assess whether their legal right is binding. The state of mind of any transfer of the land and nature of its title or indeed any other matter is not relevant.